Gerbils are popular pets because they are inexpensive and simply to care for. They are the type of burrowing rodent that originates in Africa and Asia. Although there are several species of gerbils in the wild, the majority of gerbils kept as pets are Mongolian gerbils. They have a grayish coloration in the wild. Several color variations including white, black, and gold are available through selective breeding. Many gerbils can be trained to be hand tamed as pets with gentle handling. Their diet is straightforward and their living quarters are simple to maintain. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel Furry Animal Adventures. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why gerbils are so popular and great to have as a pet. So, if you want to know all about them, then keep watching this video. Gerbil Temperament and Behavior Gerbils, unlike mice and hamsters, are frequently seen sitting up on their hind legs. They're active, curious, and playful animals, but they're still relatively quiet pets. They're not nocturnal, meaning you can get to enjoy their presence during the day, though they do occasionally become active at night and may occasionally nap during the day. Gerbils are social animals that live in colonies in the wild. They do not make good solitary pets. As a result, maintaining a same-sex pair is essential. It's best to choose litter mates or young gerbils who will be able to grow up together. If you only have one adult gerbil, however, it can be difficult to introduce a new one because they are territorial. They frequently fight and one of the gerbils is sometimes killed in the process. Gerbils should also be kept separate from other household pets to avoid stress and injury. Gerbils, as social creatures, can become quite tame when handled gently on a regular basis. They have a generally pleasant temperament and will only bite if they feel threatened. Taming a gerbil by hand is usually simple, especially when treats are used as positive reinforcement. You can expect to spend a few hours per week feeding, cleaning, and interacting with your pet. Size Specifications The average length of a gerbil's body is around 4 inches. The tail adds about 4 inches to the overall length. Males are generally slightly larger than females. Housing Glass aquariums are preferred by many gerbil owners over wire cages for gerbil housing. Aquariums allow for a thick layer of bedding, allowing gerbils to burrow in their natural habitat. To prevent escapes and allow for proper ventilation, a secure mesh lid is required. As a general rule, each gerbil should have 5 gallons of space. Gerbils can be kept in wire cages, but they have a habit of kicking bedding through the wire bars and causing a mess. Make sure the wires aren't too narrow for the gerbil to squeeze through, but not too narrow that the gerbil's legs or other body parts get caught in them. Plastic cages should not be used because they do not withstand gerbil chewing and do not provide adequate ventilation. Provide a variety of climbing and enrichment materials in the enclosure, such as thick pieces of wood, stable large rocks, ladders, ramps, and platforms. Toys that are safe to chew should always be available to help a gerbil's teeth wear down as they grow. Particle Requirements Fill the habitat with at least 2 inches of dye-free paper on aspen bedding. Gerbils should not be exposed to cedar or pine shavings. Include nesting materials for your gerbil such as dye and scent-free paper towels for tissue. Remove soil spots in the bedding on a daily basis and change the bedding completely once a week when you wash down the enclosure with mild soap and water. Gerbils. What do they eat and drink? A formulated pelleted food should be the mainstay of your gerbil's diet and it should be available at all times. This will provide you with the complete nutrition. In the enclosure, place a day's worth of pellets in a small ceramic bowl. After 24 hours, discard any uneaten pellets before adding the next day's portion. You can also serve a gerbil food mix made with seeds, grains, and dried vegetables. Note, however, that gerbils prefer high-fat seeds first, particularly sunflower seeds. So you might want to pick them out and give them to your gerbil as a treat now, and then keep him from getting too fat. Consult your veterinarian about the proper feeding amount as it varies depending on size and activity level. Additionally, provide small amounts of dried vegetables and fruits on a limited basis. Again, discussing the quantity with your veterinarian. Peas, broccoli, and apples are all good choices. To avoid spoilage, place dried fruits in a separate dish and remove them after a few hours. It's best to give them to your gerbil when he or she is most active. Finally, gerbils should always have fresh water available to them. A water bottle that attaches to the enclosure side is ideal. However, keep a water dish nearby until you're certain your gerbil is using the bottle. Replace the water on a daily basis, of course. Typical health issues. Gerbils are generally healthy creatures. However, here are some of the more common health concerns to be aware of. 
Injuries A gerbil's delicate tail is easily damaged. Being caught in something or falling from a great height can also cause gerbils to break bones or sustain other injuries. Digestive diseases Diarrhea is frequently a symptom of bacterial or parasitic digestive problem. Hair loss and skin irritation are two common side effects of parasites. Seizures In gerbils, spontaneous seizures are fairly common. Adult gerbils can develop kidney disease which manifest as increased thrust and urination as well as weight loss. Inner ear mass A mass in the ear of many older gerbils can cause permanent damage. Hand taming your gerbil is the most common training method used with pet gerbils. Allowing your gerbil to adjust to its new environment for a few days before handling it. When it appears to be at ease, calmly approach it when it is awake. With these steps, you can gradually gain its trust. Treats can be given through the cage's bar. Offer a treat through the open door cage when the gerbil accepts the treats on a regular basis. Place a treat in your open hand and wait for the gerbil to come over and eat it. Treats should be placed on your arm so that the gerbil must climb up to retrieve them. You can hold and carry your gerbil in your cupped hands once it is comfortable with you. Many gerbils enjoy having their heads gently scratch on the sides and backs. Avoid touching your gerbil's tail. If you're worried it'll fall, grab the scruff on its neck and reposition it quickly, but gently. Exercise Gerbils are very playful and require exercise to keep them mentally and physically stimulated, which can help them avoid diseases like obesity. One of the best ways to ensure that they get enough exercise is to provide as large an enclosure as you can fit and afford. To keep them occupied, make sure they have enough climbing structures, an exercise wheel, toys, and other items. Allow them daily supervised out-of-cage time in a secure area where they can run and explore safely. Grooming Gerbils groom themselves on a regular basis and they may also groom their cage mates as a form of bonding. Gerbils do not require bathing. If they can get something stuck in their fur, you can gently rub the area with a damp cloth to help them get it out. Gerbils, like other rodents, can bite and scratch, especially when scared or threatened. Gerbils aren't the best pets for small children as a result of this. When a young child tries to handle a gerbil, he or she may unintentionally squeeze the animal too hard, causing the gerbil to nip or scratch the child. If you have small children and are considering getting a gerbil, you should probably wait until they're older. Older children can easily learn how to care for a gerbil. It's always better to be safe than sorry. So get a fish or another type of animal that your small children won't be tempted to handle. While you may not believe a rodent can form a bond with a human, you can do so with a pet gerbil. A gerbil, like other pets, will grow to like you if you treat it with basic human kindness. A pet gerbil will not trust you if you mistreat it. While a gerbil isn't exactly as cuddly as a kitten or a puppy, it can appreciate affectionate gestures such as gentle petting or back scratching. Gerbils are social creatures that can be tamed. Gerbils are easy to hand tame because they are social animals that live in large colonies in the wild. Begin by offering a treat through the cage bars to tame a gerbil. When the gerbil accepts treats on a regular basis, open the cage door and offer treats through it. After that, place the treat in your open hand. Your gerbil will eventually sit on your hand to eat the treat. You can pick up your gerbil and hold it in your cupped hands once it has become accustomed to you. Scratch the back of its head and the area around its ears gently. The tail of a gerbil is one of the part of the animal that should not be touched because it is way too sensitive. Gerbils are social creatures who thrive in groups and prefer to live in pairs as well. If at all possible, purchase a gerbil pair that is already living together because it can be difficult to introduce two adult gerbils to each other. This is the best route to take. Gerbils are territorial by nature, so when two gerbils who don't know each other are placed in the same cage, there will almost certainly be some sort of fighting. Because young gerbils are more adaptable, it is possible to successfully introduce two gerbils when they are about 8 weeks old. It's entirely up to you whether you get two young gerbils or two adults. So think about it before you go out and buy your pets. To be frankly honest, gerbils are some unique pets. I mean, like we've mentioned before, they're not exactly as cuddly, but they do appreciate the gesture of kindness and affection. And they're fun to have around. They add a unique spice and taste to your life. So yeah. And with that, we have come to the end of our video. 
share your thoughts about the video in the comment section below, and of course, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you all next time. Thank you so much for-